Hey guys, welcome back to a very special edition of the vodcast. What makes it so special, you might ask? Could be this nice nifty red scarf I have on. I was feeling kind of fallish today. Or it could be Mystery Oreos 2 by Nabisco. That's right. I didn't think these guys were coming out to the 23rd. I even said it on the last video, see? Now, I will say this too. On the 23rd of this month is the shelf date for the new Mystery Oreos. Well, I was a stupid fucking idiot. And the shelf date was actually the 16th, which was yesterday. But Food Lion didn't have them yesterday. They didn't have them to... Watch this quick little clip and it'll help explain things. Well, I just left Food Lion and I'm back in the car now. They did not have the new Mystery Oreos, nor did Kroger. I forgot to film going in. However, I did find a woman's wallet spewed out all over the ground with money going everywhere. And of course, I ran up to her and I gave it to her. And it hurt because I had flip-flops on and I had very, very sensitive feet. So as of the moment, we have no Mystery Oreos to review. However, I'm going to go to Walmart after I go out to eat with my lovely wife, Carol Ann Oliveira. Carol Ann! Carol! Carol! And then hopefully they'll have them there and I'll go home and I'll review them. So I had no luck at Food Lion nor at Kroger, which is very rare that they aren't the ones to have at Target. I almost guarantee they're sitting on the shelf there right now. Nonetheless, I went to Walmart after I went to eat with Carol and we had got some nice delicious Taco Bell. I think I had the, the whole chips on the mind from yesterday. Uh, I, I scooted on over. I went to their special displays first because I knew they had two special display Oreos in the store and one of them had a picture of this package on it. They weren't there. I was, I was livid. I was like, oh, I'm going to murder everyone in Walmart right now. There's going to be blood from wall to wall, from fucking baby section down to your lettuce. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, uh, they were hidden on an end cap. There was a few actually over with the actual Oreos, too. But I really expected these to be a bigger deal. Like, I thought, you know, the big day, you know, maybe it's just people like us who really like Oreos who look forward to these things. Um, nonetheless, I got my hands on them, and we're going to give them a whirl. And we're going to guess what they are, probably incorrectly, and hopefully win $50,000. What would you do with $50,000? Not like you got to do much here. <laughs> you just got to guess a flavor. Is it just, like, one person? Because... I would think that Nabisco could afford to dole out, you know, probably a few million dollars and wouldn't hurt the company. But 50000 is nice and generous of them, and I'm hoping that I guess right, and I hope I'm the first one to guess right, and I hope that the stars align and all things work out for all of us. But what would you do with $50,000? It's not an enormous amount of money. It's, it's more than I make in a year. So um, it, it's big, but it's not immeasurable. It's, it's not... When somebody says a million dollars to me, I go, I've never in my life, with all the accumulations of stuff and paychecks, I've never had, you know, a million dollars. If you, if you gave me a penny back for every penny I spent, I probably still would not have a million dollars right now. I'd be like if I had a hundred thousand dollars. I've never been a rich man. But that's about to change, isn't it, Nabisco? 50000 Now, $50,000 is a new car. $50,000 is a good chunk down on my mortgage. So that, that's where it would go and, you know, fix the house up, maybe put a fence around it. Who knows? But I'd like to know what you'd like to do with $50,000. Should you be the winner? Tell me in the comments below. Maybe we can talk about it, get a little discussion going. I don't know. Maybe you want to buy $50,000 in cocaine and fill a pool with it and go swimming. Hey, if that's your thing, I'm not here to judge you, man. What I am here to judge is the flavor of the mystery Oreos, which we're going to bust open right now. We're going to get a really good smell on them because these could be fruity. They could be candy. They could be savory. They could be sweet. We don't know what's inside this fucking thing. I almost bought multiple packages just to see if they were fucking with people. I I'm sure they're not, though. All right, so let's take a look because these could be golden. Well, I guess they're not golden. It looks like it's a chocolate sandwich cookie. I get absolutely nothing from the smell of these. These smell like Oreos, untainted Oreos. Maybe they did that to throw you off? I don't know. At first I thought that maybe they had little specks of black in them, but it turns out it's just pieces of the, the crumb, the, the cookie crumb. All right, let's give it a little twist test. Comes off nicely. There's already a little bit of gelatinous shit going on here. See, I don't remember the cream ever being that consistency when I was a kid. I don't want to, I don't want to taint my first bite, though. 
All right, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Chocolate covered orange. No, <laughs> that was my guess last year. I thought it was spot on, and why they haven't done that yet, I have no idea. It seems like ideal. God, I, there, I feel like it is a fruity again. Like there's something fruity. <sighs> something in this room is fruity. <laughs> All right, here we go. Clear your mind. Clear the palate. Actually, let me take a little sip of milk first. Have I ever mentioned that uh, Jess and Herbie sent me this? Two good friends from back north. Thanks, guys. Um, all right. Hmm, 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 Let's reduce the amount of cookie. Let's try just the cream. I don't like to do this because it's gross, but I can't, I'm not getting anything. It's weird. It's like my mouth can't figure out what's going on. Like when somebody hands you something that says, try this. And then you're like, what is it? They're like, just try it. You don't know what to expect. I mean, if they hand you a piece of candy or something, you're like, okay, it's candy. I mean, I know this is an Oreo cookie with some new and unique flavor inside it, but it's it's just too sweet. Um, I mean, we're not gonna stop until we figure, until we have a guess at least. All right, let's try it in milk. See if that changes anything. You know I love a well-saturated cookie. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. The game was afoot. All right. So that 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 added some kind of dynamic in there. It softened the cookie just enough to, but it mixed with the cream better. It would definitely improve the score by at least one if I if I was going to score these. I don't know if I'll score these because it's too hard. Like, my mind and my this and nothing's working together. Let's listen to them. Nope, nothing. See, there's a part of me at the end... As I'm finally swallowing it and it's going down my throat, it's out of my mouth, it's not lying in my cheeks, it might still be in my teeth a little bit, you know, you know, Oreos. Just a little piece of it that gives me almost like a minty aftertaste, but I, I don't think it is. Like, I think my mind is playing tricks on me. I don't think that's really there. This is the worst part of the video to edit too, by the way. Like... I never know what to do with it because it's kind of boring. Like, e even right now, it's boring for me. It's just, I don't know. I mean, that bite right there tasted completely different than the last bite. I'm not saying that they're they're mixing flavors in. I don't believe they're doing that. I have no idea. I have no idea what, these, what this flavor is. What the fuck is this collect a win? Good Christ, Jesus. Ah, here we go, here we go. Nope, yeah, nope, okay. I don't know what this collector, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it just opens up. I'm such a stupid bastard. Oh, scratch off logo, collect the win. Oh, yeah, that's scratchy shit. What do I win? Do I win 10,000, 1,000, Nabisco? All right, $5 free voodoo rental. If you're a winner, oh, let's see. Sorry, you suck. <laughs> Scratch off the logos, collect and win. What do I need? How many logos do I need? Okay, I got an Oreo and Chips Ahoy. What do I do with them? Oh, <laughs> the scratch stuff mixed in with the cookie. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're scratch ticket flavored. I'm confused. I'm very confused. It's a chocolate sandwich cookie. It says chocolate sandwich cookie right on the fucking package. What haven't they done? That they would. Putting a mystery flavor for us to guess. I mean, is this another marketing ploy? Because last time it was Fruity Pebbles, so 
Fruity Pebble and Oreo had a little relationship there. So what's happening here? Is this another corporate relationship going on? Hmm. What's something about this one? This one's got some girth to it. It's almost a double stuff. Not quite. All right. One more legitimate bite, and I'll make my best guess. Twelve seconds later. All right. Someone's got a gun to my head, and I know they've done this flavor before in the thins, but they've never done it in a full-size cookie. The closest thing in my mind, it's just sweet, but there's a hint of some kind of a nut. And the closest nut I could think of it to tasting like is a, is a pistachio. This is really bugging me because I really thought we'd get in here, we'd get down to business, we'd have a few laughs, maybe we'd go out to the coast, have something to eat, sit down, watch the sunset, take a little stroll on the beach after all was said and done, and then we'd sit down and have some Oreo cookies, these mystery flavored Oreo cookies, number two. The last one's released in 2017. I thought we'd sit down. We'd try them out. We'd be like, uh, <laughs> you thought you could get me, Nabisco. Well, guess what? It's dog turd. But I don't know. I really don't know. Pistachio is the closest thing in my mind, or my mind is allowing me to believe that this could be flavored. I, uh, yeah, this is a real tragedy. I apologize, folks. I expected big things here. <laughs> I expected a definitive, you know, like, oh, this is, of course, that. But I can't give you that because I don't know. <laughs> so please, for the sake of the vodcast, go out there and in the comments below, please let me know what you think it is. Should I submit pistachio as my choice? Maybe it's pistachio ice cream. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know what the hell it is, but I need your help. So if you guys are more than willing and able, I suggest you go out, get the mystery flavored Oreos, sit down, try them out, come up with your best guess, put it in the comments below and, uh, you know, if you end up picking the right one and we win, I'll I'll give you like five bucks or something. <laughs> Pat on the back. <laughs> Shoot, get along, get along. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by and checking us out. Wish I had better answers for you. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving to make them, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, that whole jazz. Let's let's uh, let's get the word of the vodcast out there, folks. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Love the adventure you're living. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves because they're the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This has been the Podcast Mystery Oreo Guessing Review Game. And, uh, well, I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road.